Cook, how's it going, buddy? How's it going today? Absolutely. Best time of the year. You're fired up. You're probably up at 5 in the morning today, weren't you? I was going to say, <laughs> over here in my singlet. No, I'm totally joking. Totally joking. <laughs> you were hanging out in the singlet last night? <laughs> exactly, yeah. The wife's like, uh, John, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, man, Hey man, it's, it's season opening weekend. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, talk a little bit about we got we got uh, we got one of your boys Nick Costco in studio here former EHT stud. Well, there that that is. might that might be a reach, but uh, <laughs> stud stud is a really big reach if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking a little bit about the uh, the Robin Left Classic. I know you mentioned that earlier in the week to me. Talk about this tournament. Uh, my old classmate John Stout, coach of uh, Southern Regional, he's got a great program going the last decade or so up there at Southern. And what a, what an awesome tournament to start out the season with. I was going to say, I think, you know, I, I, in speaking to John a few years ago when they started this up, I know he was kind of, they went to the Beast to East previously and a couple other tournaments. And I think they were kind of tired of traveling. And, and you know, they do, they do a lot of traveling still. But um, I, I think this has really turned into a nice tournament up there, the Robin Les Classic. Uh, Buna Regionals up there from down this way. EHT's up there, obviously Southern, and then you've got Jackson Memorial Short Conference Power, uh, Delcy Regional from down this way, Timber Creek, um, uh, Wilson from Pennsylvania. Uh, there's just a bunch of good teams up there, a bunch of good athletes. That's a really nice. That's turned into a really nice opening season tournament up there. A lot of talented kids in the room. Tell you what, drop the name Sully with uh, Stout. You might get a, a free pretzel or something over there at Southern. <laughs> do that <laughs> one of the best max fans in the shore there you go uh what are you looking forward to we were talking a little bit about egg arbor township maybe kind of flying under the radar a little bit with uh saint augustine getting so many of the preseason headlines talk about the eagles a little bit and, and uh you know nick was talking about them uh obviously he's a little bit of a homer there with the eagles <laughs> gotta, but, be, uh, gotta be gotta be a homer yeah <laughs> but they got a they got a pretty nice squad coming back they do. You're right. You're absolutely right. St. Augustine Prep, obviously, and you know, well deserved. They're getting a lot of the attention. They're they're one of the tougher teams uh, in the Cal last few years here. Um, but yeah, absolutely. EHT in terms of the other Cal American teams, uh, definitely one of the top contenders. I mean, you've got some good young guys. Uh, Jason Kenzig, uh, uh, a couple tough guys down low. Terrell Coleman is back, and then up top, obviously, you know, Connor Agostino is one of the top upper weights in the area. Uh, you know, they've got enough pop to, to give some teams some trouble. Uh, they create a lot of matchup problems with, with teams. You know, I, absolutely. I think Mike Kayazza, the head coach over there, is just fine with flying under the radar. I, I think he was, like, maybe doing so, some moves in his house last night. He, he's that kind of wrestling coach. Absolutely. Oh, man. Kayazza, <laughs> there is, in terms of watch, I'll tell you, in terms of a coach, there is nobody I'd rather watch coach. That is for sure. If not. <laughs> If nothing else, when the match, when there's a low on the match, Kayaza, if nothing else, is always entertaining on the side. And just, you know, I I break his chops kind of thing. But, uh, you know, a great guy. Just loves the sport. Super passionate guy. You know, you know, he's definitely, I would imagine he's pretty tough in the room at times. But great guy. Great for the sport. Good dude. Just just loves wrestling. Every time I see him over there at Egg Arbor Township High School, I got to be on the balls of my feet, you know, expecting a double leg takedown. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine he gets some pretty good uh, – you know, action, passion shots from him too on the uh, on the sideline over there. Ah, uh, yeah, him, him and Carmichael. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, talk a little bit about. We're talking with John O'Kane for the Press of Atlantic City uh, High School Wrestling Guru. Uh, I don't, I don't think that's a stretch to to say you're a high school <laughs> wrestling <laughs> guru. Uh, talk about the beast of the East. I mean, when you're talking high school wrestling, this is where it's at down at University of Delaware this weekend. Uh, what, a, what an amazing tournament. You're talking about some of the best wrestling in the country going on this weekend. Yeah, you know how much of a nerd I am because I actually woke <laughs> up like an hour ago to start following it. <laughs> yeah, I was looking, looking at the bracket Thursday night when they started getting released. Uh, I just saw actually a, a couple of quick updates up there. You're right. I mean, first of all, you're right. The, uh, just one of the top tournaments, not just around the you know, East Coast, but literally in the country. I mean, I, I didn't look specifically, but if you look at the top 25, 40 teams in the country, depending on what rankings you're looking at. I mean, you know, 75% of them are at the Beast of the East this weekend. Uh, even some teams from out west and things like that come out here. Blair Academy's there, Bergen Catholic's there from New Jersey, North Jersey. Um, but, yeah, a couple quick updates. Unfortunately, I was joking around. Uh, I've been getting some texts from Ralph Pilone from Holy Spirit's, uh, <laughs> Holy Spirit's head coach. He's up there with St. Augustine. But uh, Stephen Schwab from St. Augustine's got to be the unluckiest guy in the tournament. Uh, he gets a first round matchup, and he just he just lost with it. He got pinned in the second period by uh, Nick Suriano um, from Bergen Catholic, three time unbeaten New Jersey state champion, going for his fourth Beast of the East title. Uh, that's, that's, 
in terms of brutal draws, you don't get much worse than that. And then uh, Holy Spirit's young guy, <laughs> Tim Fitzpatrick, uh, sophomore, he actually opened up with an impressive 9 nothing major decision against a uh, guy from Delaware, finished fifth in the state of Delaware last year. So they're up and rolling already at the Beast of the East. Nice. Talking with John O'Kane for the Press of Atlantic City. Talking a little high school wrestling here on the South Jersey Sports Report. Uh, Oak, for, for the South Jersey wrestling fans who maybe haven't gotten a chance to go to Boardwalk Hall the last couple of years, uh, talk a little bit about this Suriano kid. I mean, could possibly be the best wrestler in New Jersey history by the time it's all said and done. I mean, this kid is an absolute beast. Yeah, he, he's going to be on that short list of, uh, you know, top five, ten in the state. If not, you know, I mean, obviously he's going to – a lot of people, and you could easily make the argument, you know, if he does finish up here unbeaten four-time New Jersey state champion – uh, joining Anthony Ashnault, who's currently doing – everybody knows he's doing pretty well up there at Rutgers right now. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's going to be right on that short list with, you know, Campolitano from Boundbrook a few years ago, going all the way back to Damian Hahn, uh, some of the best in, in the state. Uh, he's just on a different level. I mean, uh, you know, Pat Darcy from down this way is one of the top wrestlers I've seen. He's just super technical. And, you know, Suriano, I mean, it, you know, took care of him pretty well. I mean, Suriano makes makes some great wrestlers look look pretty average. He's just – He's one of the strongest lightweights I've ever seen. I mean, I know everybody's the same weight, but, you know, I was joking around. He's got to be a buck sixty in the off season, coming down to like 120, <laughs> 126. I mean, he's just, I mean, his muscles have muscles. He's just a bear. <laughs> and on top of that, he's super technical. And then you see, like, you know, I, I've seen pictures of him, you know, doing push-ups in the parking lot in the middle of winter. Uh, like, the guy is just, he's just addicted to wrestling. I mean, working out. He's going to Penn State, which obviously, you know, they're, they're top, tops in the country right now. But, yeah, you're absolutely right. Suriana was just on a different level. And I'll tell you, Bergen Catholic in general, that's a special team. I've seen some rankings this year. Um, obviously, everybody knows uh, St. Augustine down this way. But, you know, Bergen Catholic handled St. Augustine. And I've seen some rankings this year that have Bergen Catholic actually ahead of Blair Academy, uh, which is just goes to show you how talented those guys are. They have Division One wrestlers up and down the lineup. And then, you know, where they have a couple, you know, supposed holes, guys that graduated, they fill them in with some of the top freshmen. I've got Joey McKenna up there, who was, you know, everybody knows was the top eighth grade uh, wrestler and football player in the country last year. Everybody was talking about where he was going to go. I, I don't remember such a hyped eighth grader in a long while. Um, they, they've just got stud on top of stud up there at Burton Catholic. You know, it's one of those things, St. Augustine, if they do win South Jersey, which they're, you know, pretty heavily favored to do, you know, their only reward is getting to wrestle one of the top teams, quite possibly the top high school team in the country, which is the, uh, that's a tough road to haul there. Wow. Uh, talking with John O'Kane for the Press of Atlantic City, getting into a little high school wrestling as the season gets started this weekend. Uh, John, who should we be looking out for here in South Jersey as, as somebody who could make a name for himself that, that maybe had a decent year last year but really wasn't on the radar too much? Uh, who, who are you looking for to, to really make a splash this year? A lot of guys. I mean, I, I already mentioned Fitzpatrick from Holy Spirit. Uh, he got the advantage of working out with Pat Darcy all year last year. Uh, P- Ralph Palone's got a great room going there with Mac Nacuso, uh, Don Rafagola, Brian Conley, a lot of former area greats uh, in the room coaching there. Um, another guy I really like, James Geigel from Atsugami. Uh If he can stay at weight and everything, you know, he's a talented dude. They've got him going 120 this year, heck of a wrestler. Um, a guy who kind of was a little bit, you know, I think he was a little bit dinged up last year, uh, but had a really nice freshman year, Andrew Solomon. Uh, from Cedar Creek, he's another guy that kind of flies under the radar. Uh, he got beat by Darcy last year, but you know, obviously, no shame in that. But just an athletic uh, lower weight that could definitely do some things down there. Um, Ocean City's got a few guys. Um, definitely looking forward. I mean, um, I know St. Joe's; they're going to struggle. They've got first-year coach Mark Mancio, um, who a lot of New Jersey wrestling people will know. Mancio is one of the best wrestlers in uh, New Jersey history. Three-time state champion, four-time state finalist. Uh, I always remember Mancio from his uh, region introduction to Atsagami where he would literally, when the spotlight came on, he would just spit water up into the air and pound himself in the chest. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I-, I think he won most of his matches before he even stepped on the mat. I mean, he was afraid to get on the mat with that guy. Was he like the ultimate uh, warrior or something? Oh, my gosh. I mean, he, was a, he, was, he was an intimidating dude and just kind of an old-fashioned blue-collar wrestler. You know, he would stuff your head in the mat and just leave it there and pound you over the head. I mean... Just a tough dude. He's going to get those guys, and they've, they've got a couple young guys coming in the room there, and he's the kind of coach that people are going to kind of flock to him a little bit. Don't be surprised if they get an influx of wrestlers up there the next few years. Um, and then, you know, I always say, this time of year, I love I love seeing those guys that, you know, wrestling is a sport, as we all know, that, you know, rewards hard work. So I love seeing those guys that were, 
pretty pedestrian, you know, 500 record type guys from last year that come up all of a sudden and they just can't be beat. I mean, I always look forward. Those are always some of my favorite stories, the guys that kind of come out of nowhere and just turn themselves into world beaters. Talking with John O'Kane here from the Press of Atlantic City. Uh, John, real quick, a quick minute or two before we let you go. Uh, we got the the Marinelli tournament coming up at Egg Arbor Township over the Christmas break. Talk about that tournament a little bit. Uh, kind of a, a lot of Cal teams involved in that and uh, really a nice way to kind of get it – get really going for the new year yeah you know i saw it It looks like from what i understand southern regional is going to be wrestling delcy that day uh, as part of a pretty impressive quad so i was annoyed i'm going to have to choose but uh <laughs> but i always love i always love the marinelli uh maybe not you know the top three teams in south jersey or anything like that but there's always a lot of local teams so it's a great opportunity for local wrestling fans uh to see you know lower k may ocean city is usually there uh eht teams there i'm not sure if getty's going this year I'm uh, pretty sure they are, though. Clearview, um, Clearview is usually there, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't mean to say there's no talent. There's no top level teams because yeah, Clearview's there. West Deppard's been there in the past, right? Um, so there's definitely some top wrestlers, but it's just a great chance, like I said, you know, in terms of looking for guys that kind of you know to see who did the work in the off season. There's a lot of local teams there: EHT, Lower K May, Ocean City, Epsigami, um, and others. I'm forgetting people. I'm sure Oakcrest, I believe, is usually there, right? Um, and it's it's a great tournament all day. There's JV matches sprinkled in. Uh, but it's a it's a long day of wrestling, but it's a it's a great early season tournament. I think they're doing that on December 30th this year, so definitely looking forward to that. Oak, before we let you go, uh, obviously the number one wrestling movie's got to be Vision Quest. But uh, what what's your top high school basketball movie, or any basketball movie Ooh, for that matter? Cool. I'm I'm an old school guy. I, I'm still trying to you know. I always like comparing teams to Hoosiers. Anytime uh, anytime you get a team that comes around, it can has a bunch of unathletic shooters. You know, I always like to throw Hoosiers around. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was always kind of how I described my basketball game. What I, you know, for what I lacked in talent, I made up for it with lack of athleticism. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I would, I would have to go Hoosiers. I'm an old school guy. I'm old. I'm, I'm Hoosiers with basketball. Feel the dreams with baseball. Yeah, vision quest. You can't go wrong with vision. Feel the dreams for I'll, baseball. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Bad Absolutely. news, but bad bad news bears for me. The original. Oh, bad news. The original. What, about, what about the natural? The natural is, yeah, Roy Hobbs? is phenomenal oh, as well. Uh, we'll. We'll get into Absolutely. some baseball movies in the spring. Right now, right now it looks like uh, Hoosiers has a three one lead Re- over wrestle, Coach Carter. Res- wrestling movies only Vision Quest for you. You got you know any other? You know any others? I was a little, I was a little disappointed when Foxcatcher came out last year. No, yeah, uh, that, it, was, yeah. it was a good. It was a good tale, but I think I was hyping that up a little bit Actually, too much. Actually, I almost forgot about that. It was, it was disappointing. Uh, <laughs> Win-win's pretty good. Paul Giamatti, you ever see that? Yes, yes. That's actually, a lot of people don't know, that's actually a New Jersey wrestler that did yeah. that one. Right, yeah, uh, way up actually, north. Yeah, I was going to say, actually stopped wrestling, tried to turn himself into an actor, and landed the dream role. I mean, my goodness, <laughs> how, did that, how did that work out? Where you no, that's a, that's a good, that's a good one. That is a good one. What a stretch. Uh, I'd watch anything with Giamatti. Absolutely great actor. <laughs> All right, Oak, appreciate it. Enjoy the uh, rest Thanks, of the weekend, the wrestling action. Thanks, man. I'll be sitting in front of the computer checking it out. Thanks, guys. All Thanks right. for having me. Thanks, Oak. Bye. All right, that's John O'Kane for the Press for Atlantic.